Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going lovely. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, these are hard hands. These are actually with the dies from the Spellbinders card kit of the month for December 2020. This one is um, called Hard Hands. It also has a die in the card kit of the month that will cut out your sentiment here along with the florals. Today we're going to create 10 cards with the Spellbinders card kit of the month. Um, so we're going to jump in. I mentioned during um, my unboxing that I thought it would be fun to create cards with the, the tags that came in the kit. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to start off by adhering a piece of the blue pattern paper. This measures three and three quarter inches by five and a half inches. We're going to place this directly on our card base. All the card bases that I'm using today are the card bases that came with the kit, which makes it super handy dandy. <laughs> I love the softness of that color. I just think it's so pretty. We're going to use this tag. It's on the larger side. I love tags. Love these tags that came in the kit. I'm just going to trim off about a quarter inch from the bottom. That way it fits a little bit better. And then I'm also going to um, flip it over. We're going to add some foam adhesive behind here. And I'm also going to thread it um, in a little bit. I have lots of fun foam, so I'm going to use it up today for my tags here. We're gonna just add, I use adhesive backed fun foam and so all I have to do is add um, um, some double sided tape to one side and then we are good to go. I did punch a hole. I used my uh, crocodile and punched a hole through the fun foam. That way I can um, have the dimension but I can also thread my twine. The twine that I'm using is um, some whipped cream twine. It's from Fun Stamper's Journey. I'm just going to loop it through my top of my tag and then we're going to tie a bow at the very top. Um, I think it goes with the daintiness of the colors for this card. If you guys are looking for really nice twine, Fun Stamper's Journey has great um, whipped cream twine and then licorice, just a black twine. I'm going to use both of those for my cards today for, tag, for tying bows on all of my tags. So I'll link them down below. They're great. They're, uh, some twines are too... Um, too uh, not too thin, but I'd say they don't hold their shape very well. And then also some uh, twine is too stiff. This is perfect twine. But anyway, I went ahead and adhered my heart hands. And I also am going to adhere my flowers right in between the thumbs here. If you wanted to see how I created these heart hands, I did it during my unboxing. And I'll link that video at the end of, um, of this one. If you want to head over there. It's at the very end is when I made it. I'm going to go ahead and add my sentiment. Um, this sentiment here says you are the best and it's part of the stamp set um, and, and the kit that we're playing with today. And um, the dies also cut out that sentiment. But that's all I'm doing to this card. I love the softness. And so we're going to con continue on with our card number two. Card no this is from the pattern paper pack and I thought this print was just so pretty. I'm actually going to cut off the mirror portion on the bottom just so we have a landscape style print here. Um, and I'm going to take some, I'm going to take, <laughs> you can take some black cardstock. And I'm trying to rush um, with my voiceover. The husband's home today and he's out changing the brakes on the car. And so he has this drill thingy that's going crazy. So I'm trying to talk fast. But um, I have some black cardstock here. It measures three quarter of an, of an inch. I just added that to the bottom and then I um, trimmed down my my pattern paper here. To, basically it's a three and three quarter inch square and then I added the black card stock. Okay we are going to go ahead and add our flowers that I die cut out with the black card stock. I, I die cut out three and then um, this next one I'm going to add just above um, the first one that we we um, adhered just to make it a little bit longer and different width and then this last one we adhered I'm going to trim off about a half an inch off of the very bottom just so it's flush with the seam of the black cardstock so it looks basically basically like one piece and I just think that looks so elegant I don't know it reminds me of shoes for some reason I don't know why okay next we're going to stamp our sentiment we're going to use the stamp set and this one was in the decorative circle that was in there it is so pretty guys it says to a beautiful soul who brings light with her smile i just love that 
I stamp, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add foam adhesive behind it first and then we'll stamp it. Um, I, like, I don't mind stamping on foam adhesive, it just adds extra cushion and it seems like my images turn out a little bit better when I stamp on the fun foam. <laughs> but I stamp this and then I'm going to take some of the, my black licorice twine and over the seam I'm going to tie a bow and the bow is just basically going to go underneath the flowers. Um, and since we already have um, foam adhesive, all we have to do it is adhere it to our card. Now, um, I lost my footage or I cut it out. Um, I did stamp, there's a little itty bitty butterfly in this month's stamp set. I did stamp that a few times around the sentiment just to make it complete and pull up some of that black from the bottom. I took a still shot so you could see where my placement is with the butterflies, but I think the butterflies just added a little bit more to it. Sorry, it's probably a little overexposed, but there's my butterflies. Okay, so that was card two. We're going to move along to card number three. Now, there is a really pretty um, tag. It's on the larger side in the tag set. Um, I thought we would make a gift card holder with that. I started it off with a um, the pattern paper that had all the Happy Mail on it, it um, I trimmed it down to a three and three quarter inch by five and a half inch panel and then adhered that directly to my card base, the same as I did for card number one. So we have the white showing on the left and the right. And then I trimmed off the tag at the very bottom um, about at the two and a half inch mark. So we have two different pieces of the tag. This is a super easy, easy peasy way of making gift card holders, guys. I added foam adhesive in a U shape on the very bottom. Now this tag had a curved um, bottom. I'm flipping it over so the curved is now curved um, or the corner rounds are on the um, upper portion. This way I have adhesive on the very left, right, and bottom and then I have the curved on the left and right and top of that piece. I added that to the bottom. So basically we're creating a little pocket. Now with the top piece, I'm scoring it a quarter inch mark which is the perfect width to add the foam tape that came in this month's kit. I'm just going to add a piece to the very top. I'll remove the release paper, add some black twine to it, and then we're going to adhere this to the top of the pocket that we just added. So um, it's a you can see how super easy it is to create this little pocket. And then when you have the top flap like this, um, whatever you put in it, it won't um, it won't fall out, which makes it super neat. Just gonna tie the bow here. <laughs> um, and I did measure it. If a gift card will fit in here, so this would make a nice little gift card holder. But if you want to put cash in there, guys, cash would fit in there if you folded it up. Even a, probably a little gift, like maybe a little necklace. Um, Nicholas might need to be in a plastic bag or something, but you can see you open it up. Um, I stamped the sentiment and then I'm going to show you just how the pocket works. You can just throw the sentiment in there or you can even put a little note card in there. You can even put an extra, we can have lots of tags left over. You can put another tag in there. <laughs> so that's a cute little option for this card. Okay, I'm going to embellish it very simply. I just grabbed three of the die cut pieces that coordinated with our pattern paper. So one of them have the postage, the red and blue postage mark around it. The other one is just an envelope um, that coordinates with the one in our background paper. And then um, this last one here is an envelope that has a hello on it. So I thought we would use that as our sentiment. It has a gold hello. <laughs> Now to keep this closed, I have a, you can see I'm kind of smushing right now, a small foam square. I just removed a little bit of the tackiness. That way it helps keep it closed, but you can reopen it easily. So there is card number three, our little gift card pocket. <laughs> okay, we're moving along to card number four. We're gonna use another tag. And then I did die cut out two of the florals um, with our flower dies uh, with black card stock. I don't know if you guys can notice it, but I have my blinds open and you can kind of see the the clouds going by. The the um the 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 sun is coming in and out. I don't know if you can tell on the video or not. But I adhered a piece of pattern paper that measures three and three quarter inches by four. It was the one with kind of had um 
light pink kind of splotches on there. I added that to my card base. We're gonna thread our um, tag. This is the light blue one that has the word credit at the very top. I threaded that with my, my black twine. And then we're gonna embellish this. I loved the blue with the black. I just think it looks really pretty. I added um, one of them. Before we add the second one, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my sentiment. I'm using the sentiment from the stamp set that says, hello, lovely. And I love that sentiment. <laughs> um, after we have it stamped, I'm just using my VersaFine Onyx Black ink to stamp that. There's a little heart on there too. But I'll add little dots of glue behind my second flower here. And then we're gonna place this right next to the sentiment. There's a little bit overhanging I'll just use my scissors to trim that off. And then I did add foam adhesive behind here. We're just gonna remove the release paper. And this is gonna go to the left of our card base here. I guess I should have maybe removed the release paper before, um, before I threaded it, but no worries. We'll add our tag. And then for this card, there's a really pretty butterfly. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use just one butterfly for this card. I'm gonna tie a bow at the top here. You can see how um, it kind of the the twine kind of keeps its shape, but it's still pliable. It's really nice twine. I'm gonna flip over my butterfly, kind of fold over the wings. I have a very thin strip of foam adhesive. I'm gonna trim off the it was a little too long. We'll trim off the bottom of that. And then this one is gonna go on the bottom um, of our tag here. I love the colors of this one. Now for this one, I want a little bit of sparkle. So I'm bringing in some of my diamond um, stickles. I'm just adding, I, I went around the uh, reinforcement of the tag. So it has a little sparkle. And then I went around all the circles in the very bottom of the butterfly. So it sparkles just a little bit. But that is card number four. And I may have told you the wrong measurements of my my paper. It actually, my background paper measures three and three quarter inches by five inches. Maybe, let me remeasure it. Sorry. Let's see. Yeah, by five inches, guys. Okay, that one's all done. I did color in the heart from my sentiment, making it a solid black little heart. For my next card, I'm gonna go ahead and thread my tag right away. I'm using the white twine for this one. And then I have some pattern paper. It is um, the, what the, the pale chevron print. That measures four inches by five and a quarter. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my sentiment. For this card, we're gonna, I chose You Are The Best, and I'm just stamping it on white cardstock with the same black ink here. And then I'll use the coordinating die, which is lovely, um, to die cut out my sentiment. Okay, once this one here is die cut out, we're gonna go ahead and add our background paper to our card base. I'm just gonna use my tape writer and adhere this. It leaves me about an eighth of an inch border around my card base. And it's a very pale print and I like that. And then the floral pattern paper that measures uh, two and a half inches wide, and I cut it to five and a half inches tall. It's actually six inches. I just trimmed a two and a half inch mark from the, the six by six paper pad. So we're gonna have a little overhanging. I just trimmed that off with my scissors. Okay, we're gonna pop up our gift tag. For this card, I'm using the pale pink one with the, the grid lines. Gonna tie our bow, and then to embellish our tag, there is um, a die cut piece, just a flower, a single flower that has tape right across from it. And then in the die cut pack, there's quite a few little pieces of tape. Um, this one actually matches the tape on the flower perfectly. So I wanted to add like a little, kind of a, a layered look. So I did pop this up with foam adhesive. We'll place that in the center of our tag. And then I did add foam adhesive behind the little tape here. We're gonna add that directly on the tape that's on the flower. So we have a little layered look here. Next, I wanna add foam adhesive behind my sentiment. And then um, that finishes that card. Nice little thank you card. <laughs>
And I kept my, my, the tails of my bow a little bit long. I thought that just made the, made it look a little more softer. But that finishes card number five. Now we're going to move along to card number six. I have this pattern paper that I trimmed down to a panel that measures four inches by five and a quarter. We're going to go ahead and adhere that to our card base. For this card, we're going to use the music note tag. I'm going to go ahead and add foam adhesive behind here, and I'm going to punch a hole in it. I did go ahead and add some black licorice twine and I'm going to trim the tails of that twine and then I'm going to use the bird. I thought the bird went perfect with the music notes. Um, that looks nice but I thought I would add in a little bit of vellum for this card. So I'm going to die cut out a circle um, that is a little bit taller than the, uh, than the bird here with vellum and then um, just brings a little bit of extra something to that tag. I'll pop up my bird with foam adhesive, place it on the vellum, and then I'll flip over my vellum, and then I'll add a foam adhesive behind my bird so you can't see it. And then this is going to go to the right of our music note tag there. I picked out some colors that coordinated with my bird. Um, these are like little starburst from the die cut pack. Um, I picked the reds and the blacks and then the, the rusty colors. I added those. We're going to sparkle up our little bird with my aqua shimmer pen and the stars too. We'll do that. And then I was going to leave it without the sentiment, but I thought there's quite a few sentiments in the chipboard pack. So I'm bringing in the one that says yay. There's little gold stars on there too, so I thought that was nice. We're going to remove this little star, put it behind the bird, and then add our yay. I did put foam adhesive behind this. Um, just to add a little extra dimension too. But that finishes off card number six. We're gonna make a coffee card now. So there's a little heart and stamp set that will fit your coffee mug perfectly. Um, so there's a little heart and then there's little leaves and flowers next to it. I'm gonna stamp with black ink that little heart in each one of my coffee cups. This month you get two of each of the die cuts, so I use both coffee mugs. <laughs> It fit perfectly. I thought, okay, that's good. <laughs> okay, after we have this done, I'm going to go ahead and take some black cardstock. I trimmed down a piece that measures uh, one and a quarter inches by, so it'll be one and a quarter inches by four and a quarter inches. This is going to go on the very bottom of our card base. Once that's adhered, I have a piece of the floral pattern paper. Um, this measures three and a half inches by four and three quarters. I went ahead and added fun foam behind it. We're going to place this directly in the center of our card base. After that's adhered, we're going to go ahead and add our tag. I'm not going to pop it up. I'm just going to add um, a little bit of adhesive behind there and place that in the center of our pattern paper. Before I adhere the top, I did tie a bow with the black twine. I'm going to adhere both of my coffee cups kind of wonkily together and then um, this makes it easy to add foam adhesive behind them both at the same time. Plus it secures it too. So we'll add a couple pieces of foam adhesive and then we'll place this at the bottom of our tag. The tag that I'm using for this one is a pale blue one. I'm going to add a sentiment from the die cut pack. This one says embrace all that is you and then I'm also going to take a smaller one. The white one says this moment. We're going to place that on top. And I did add foam adhesive behind both of these. I was going to add a brown star, but it was too much brown. So just ended up adding two of the gold starbursts that were in the die cut pack. And that finishes card seven. Okay, we're going to move along to card number eight. Now I'm taking a circle die and we're going to cut out a large circle with this peachy colored um, print that has the chevron on it. I die cut that out, we're going to use the largest brown tag in the tag set. And then I'm trimming down a half inch strip of this pattern paper. Um, there were zigzags on it, but I didn't want the zigzag, I just wanted the diagonal print. So half inch created that. Next I'm going to create my own little sentiment with the sentiments in the stamp set this month. I'm, I want to stamp um, a little note. So I stamped the little. I'll clean off my stamp and then we're going to add um, the note at the very end and then eventually I will trim this and block it off. 
So that will be part of our sentiment. And then there's also a envelope in the stamp set. I'm gonna take the pale tan cardstock that came with this month's kit. It would be great for the hands, like a flesh color, I would say. Not the peachy one, this is more of the taupe one. I'm gonna stamp, this. Yeah, maybe a tan. I'm gonna um, stamp the envelope on here, right in the corner. Corner makes it easy to fussy cut out. I'll just use my, I was trying to find my detail scissors, but sometimes my girls like to take my scissors, but I'll um, just use my, my large, my grand shears. And then we are gonna cut this out. Very easy to do. I did not stamp that bottom corner, so I just filled it in with my black marker. We're gonna just curve our envelope and that is good to go. I also in, found in the die cut pack, there was a little, um, it looked like a guest check <laughs> that was in the, the die cut pack. I took one of those and I think that would be perfect for my little note. I went ahead and adhered my um, large brown tag. We're gonna adhere it to the left of our card base here. There's just a little bit overhanging, so I'm gonna use my scissors and trim that off. And then I did it here, my half inch diagonal stripe strip. We're gonna add our circle, just using tape runner. There is some excess overhanging. We'll just take our scissors and trim that off. Okay, next I wanted to complete my sentiment. So we're gonna use our uh, alpha stickers, our puffy black alpha stickers. I thought we would add the word just. So I'm gonna use the word J, the U, the S, and the T, and kind of place them at a diagonal. Um, this way our sentiment will say just a little note. My idea was you have that little itty bitty note and I thought the sentiment would go really good with it. <laughs> so we're gonna add the S and last we're gonna add the T. The nice thing about these is they're pretty repositionable. So you can just kind of work with them until you get them exactly where you want them. I'm gonna flip over both our little guest check that I'm using as a letter and then also my envelope that we stamped. I'm gonna place that just below the S and the T and then I'll pop up the rest of my sentiment and put that to the left of my little envelope there. Next, there is a little pencil that's in our chipboard sticker pack. Um, I'm gonna take that pencil and we're gonna line it up just below our the second part of our sentiment, the, the part that says a little note. And then that, I'm not gonna add a bow to this one. Um, actually to all of these cards, if you guys didn't wanna add a bow, um, you, wouldn't, you didn't have to, but I don't mind them. <laughs> that finishes off card number eight. Okay, for my next card, I'm using this pattern paper and I'm just trimming about a quarter inch, one of the squares. This is like a grid line paper. I'm just wanting one row of the grid lines. I just like the color. I'm gonna add this to one of the longer tags that have the fishtail ends. This tag is actually a real pretty pink, but I wanted to add just some color to it. So we adhered this strip. Next, I trimmed down a piece of the crafty pattern paper to a panel that measures three and a quarter inches by four and a half inches. This is gonna go in the center of our card base. After we have this adhered, um, I'm gonna place my tag horizontally and cut off the fishtail ends of this. So I'm just gonna line it up, trim off the fishtail ends, and I love the color combination of this. It goes really well with the background. I'm gonna add foam, add fun foam behind it, and then um, I did thread with black licorice twine. We're gonna add this to the bottom of our card or panel here, our card base tie the bow to the left here. And then for my sentiment, I'm using two of the um, die cut sentiments from the pack. The, the darker one says create, and then the pale blue one says inspire. I'm just gonna add foam adhesive behind both of these. We'll add the create first, and then we're gonna shift over the inspire. And then all we need to do is add some embellishments, which will be from the chipboard pack. In the chipboard pack, there is a paint palette. I thought we would use that. And then there's also a paintbrush too. This is beautiful on it. I thought that was so nice. <laughs> We're gonna, originally I was, my eyes went to the pen. I don't know why, but we need to actually grab the paintbrush. But we're gonna add our paint palette 
put that back and grab our paintbrush, place it just above the palette, just so it looks kind of pleasing. And that is that card. Pretty easy card, but I think it turned out really nice. It'd be great for a crafty friend. <laughs> That's card number nine. Okay, we're gonna move along to our final card today. I'm calling this my black and white card. We're gonna do some stamping. So I have a panel that measures four inches by five and a quarter. I'm taking the wreath, the circle wreath that's in the stamp set. We're gonna stamp this with black ink on the bottom left corner. And it barely made my acrylic block. I was debating on getting another one and I thought, oh, I think we can make this work. I'm gonna ink it up with my VersaFine Onyx Black Ink stamp it in the bottom corner here and then I'm going to ink up my stamp again and then we're going to flip it around and then stamp it on the top right corner here just creating a real pretty design I wanted just something a little extra in the background okay I have for this card we're going to use the tag the black one I am going to trim off about half well maybe an inch off of the very bottom I found it too long and I didn't want to cover up all that pretty detailed um, ovals in the back. Before we go any further, I'm going to pop this panel up with foam adhesive and then place this on my card base so we have a little dimension with that. And then I'm going to go ahead and add um, some foam adhesive behind my black tag. Place this at a diagonal right in the center, covering where they're overlapping. We'll add that. For embellishing, I have the envelope that came with the die cut pack, and then I also have the little ink, um, the little ink jar. Our envelope we're going to directly adhere. I changed my mind. I was going to add foam adhesive, but thought we should adhere that directly to our tag. We'll add foam adhesive behind our ink jar here. And then there is an ink pen that is in the die cut pack, but I thought there's one also in the chipboard pack. So I'm going to use the um, the ink pen that is in the chipboard pack. Now, I loved the black with that that greeny teal color, and I kept trying to make that heart work that was in the chipboard pack, but I, I couldn't get it to work, so I ended up putting it back. Um, I am gonna take the little butterfly that is in the stamp set, and we're gonna stamp two in the top left, and then one on the very bottom, just to kind of make it make your eyes maybe go to the center more. <laughs> but that is card number 10. I'm not gonna add no bow to that one. You could if you wanted to, but um, I would probably add maybe a white bow since it's my black and white card. <laughs> but that's card number 10. So we're gonna take a look at all the 10 cards that I made. If you guys are interested in the Spellbinders Club kit, oh, with those hands, remember to put those pinkies on there. I didn't do it during the video, but I did do it for my pictures. <laughs> but um. If you guys are interested in the card kit, I'll list it down below. Um, great value for everything that you get in the kit, guys. I always have so much fun, and then I always have so much left over, tons left over. Um, I'll link that down below. But if you want to see still shots, you can go over and visit my blog. I leave the coordinating blog post link down below in the description area for you guys. Sometimes still shots are um, a lot nicer <laughs> so I'll list that down below as well but I hope you enjoyed my projects today I always have fun creating with the Spellbinders Club kit um, I wish you all a fabulous day and um, thanks so much for stopping by we will see you again real soon